started World Domination Records in 2004 and um, at the beginning it was only a launch pad for my own music and um, I was hoping that that way I would get recognised. Boy was I right. <laughs> it definitely got me noticed. <laughs> really World Domination Records um, is all about dance music and um, alternative acts as well. Um, if we look at dance music, you can't really put necessarily bleeding brain music into one genre such as dance because he's got so many different styles. A rat boy. Rat boy. Um, hence why he's called himself Bleeding Brain Music Incorporated because he's incorporated so many different sounds, everything from punk to um, dance, and there's some 80s influences. even what um, Bleeding Brain Music Inc. calls Swamp. What that is, I don't know, but what I can say is it definitely works for his style of music and it definitely attracts a lot of attention. <laughs> TV, radio, um, and well, he's been getting thousands of uh, downloads and viewings online. But another great act that we've got on the label is Red K, um, young and vibrant, with original ideas and really, really hot production. Uh, this guy's really, really talented. <laughs> Well, another great talent on the label is Somiak, and um, he's an incredible producer and artist in his own right uh, from Peru. And uh, he's just recently remixed uh, my single Plastic Girl Regeneration. <laughs> And if it wasn't for him and uh, the input that he had as well, I don't think it would have been as big a success as, as what it has been. Um, it's uh, just a completely fresh sound and approach to what I was doing all those years back when I first started the label. So it's from that point of view, it's been really, really exciting. I've always thought of World Domination Records really as being a family, and um, there's just a, a, a really cool feel about the whole label. What happened is in 2004 uh, I sent off a track called In This House that I'd written. This house, there's a lot of um, originally when I was 14 I'd re-recorded it I sent it off to West Hollywood to a radio promoter who used to be the head of Island Records, Howie Rosen and uh, he heard it and then within about a week or two of uh, me sending it over to him uh, he'd rang me up, called me up on the phone and uh, said you're going to have a massive radio hit out here in the US and he was definitely right that's all I can say there <laughs> For all the artists on the label, um, it's a huge launch pad really. Um, most of the artists are getting global press um, coverage at the moment. Uh, many of them have appeared on um, TV programs, doing radio interviews. Uh, it's just incredible. And of course we've got worldwide distribution, which means that all of our artists have got access to iTunes, which is the number one music retailer in the world. The main reason why I relaunched the label uh, this year was because um, I really missed the music industry to be quite honest with you and I missed the whole vibe of World Domination Records and um, being back out there on radio and in the press and I really didn't know whether I could pull it off to be quite honest with you. I was definitely wrong. <laughs> it's been huge and um, and that, that's great. Uh, the, the acts are getting better 
uh, the, the, the quality of um, releases are, are a thousand times better than the early days. In fact, the early days kind of look amateurish in comparison to where we're, we're heading now. Um, although I've got a great fondness for the early days as well, because after all, that's where, the, where it all started. Well, everything's changed now. Technology's moved on, and I just felt it was the right time to uh, relaunch the label and really make a comeback in the in the music industry. I wasn't really sure if I could pull it off, but um, I thought I'm going to have a very good go at it. And uh, fortunately, it's it's worked out even better than what I could ever have imagined. And um, and it's just so good to be back, and it's so so good to see so many good acts on the label as well really producing some incredible material. We are lucky to have Gaz Reynolds in the studio with us. Uh, so Gaz, uh, we were talking about uh, your, your having been out of music for a while and uh, now you've, you've decided to return? That's right, yeah. Um, yeah, we were just talking off air, wasn't we? Yeah. Um, and uh, I took three years out away from music and um, so it was a bit hit and miss whether um, I thought I could make a, a comeback. I thought my fan uh, fans have probably forgotten about me, um, but fortunately, <laughs> it's uh, it's been very successful. So, um, so w what what uh, we decided to do was uh, relaunch my record label, World Domination Records, and with that came a whole load of uh, new releases from the artists on the label, including myself. Where um, uh, I, de I decided to actually select one of my old songs that I'd released years ago. Um, and re-record it and re recorded it in a new style with um, new producers including uh, DJ Somniac from Peru. Where do I see World Domination Records in the future? Well I guess I think we're just going to keep going with what we're doing, hopefully producing um, releases that everybody loves and uh, if they don't then we'll come up with something else that hopefully they do like and if they don't like what we're doing we're just going to keep doing it anyway because we love music and we love what we do. Um, it, it gives us a real buzz and uh, fortunately everything uh, recently has been a huge success anyway so it's um, hopefully just continuing in that vein really. Um, alternative and dance acts, uh, we've got some new artists coming on board as well, new releases coming out all the time and, um, and we're just going to keep going that way. Well, those early days were, um, I learned quite a lot about the music industry really. Number one, never start your own record label. And number two, don't put up with any shit. <laughs>